today. We are the head of our life in Jesus, son Jesus. Now for us to give it back to the Father, the Holy Spirit that abides in us. Yes. That we are forever grateful to God for who He really is in us. Yes. Happy Mother Day to all of the mothers that are here today. So thank God for you on this day. And my mother, she's gone, but when she was living, I, I honored her on her day. Amen. Even when I was overseas, I made sure that I sent my mother a Mother's Day card. Amen. And, and, and I'm not too good at putting, putting things into words like I really want to. But sometimes you, you can just go in this find the card and say that exactly how you feel. Amen. So I love putting the cards called it. They can help me, you know, say exactly how I feel. And for that we are grateful. I am going to give you my scripture. Today is found in the 20th chapter of the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20, verse number 12. And it reads, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long on the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Yes, Honor thy father and thy mother. Amen. What is honor? I, I like to just break it down in my own uh, simple term. It's giving back to a person that deserves to be given to. Me. That's how I get it. Giving back to a person that deserves to be given to. Even the Bible said, honor those, give honor to those who are worthy. I want to say I'm paraphrasing. But there are so much you know, folks that needs to be honored in this day and time that we are living in. Yes. Um, I am going to do something a little different today. So y'all pray for me, y'all just bear with me. God is going to bless in all of this. At this time, I am going to call Minister Tina Randolph, and she's going to come and tell us what motherhood means to her and what it means to have a mother be a mother. And what a mother means to me, uh, responsible, caring, loving, um, dependent upon, uh, protector, uh, caretaker, watch, watchful person over your child, your being, and what it means to me, uh, being a mother, uh, I believe being a mother, looking at your child as an extension of you, so that when you raise your child and send them out into the world, when they leave your house, your nest, you did your part, you, you know, you're responsible in raising that child the right way, you know, whatever way they went, that's on their own, but me being a mother is being responsible and making sure that when my child leaves the nest, that they obeyed, they listened, and um, they were trainable, they were teachable, um, and they respect, respect being a mother's respect, I think being a respectful mother. And being a, a, a mother is, is also being a woman, so and however I carry myself, wife, like daughter, or son, will say, oh, I want to be like my mom, or be like her, and carry my way in that manner, so that when they get older, they're something they will be a mother. Um, and so take a caretaker of someone else's, uh, their own uh, child, or a grandchild, I've never been a grandmother, praise God. But uh, this thing I, at this moment, uh, I'm happy that I am a mother, and that I have girls that can look up to me and want to be like me. I pray they want to be like me. But if not, they're respectful young ladies that when they go out to this world, yeah. that me being a center from God, that within me, I'm pouring that in them too, they're being the same thing, another, um, I say, independent. Um, yes. 
leader or respected person or representative on this earth. So that as God, um, as a mother that I have, I have that I uh, follow some of the things that she taught us growing up and some things that, that she taught us when we were growing up. Um, I may not understood then, but I do understand now being a mom. I do understand why she said the things that she said to us. And I, I find myself repeating some of the things that she said to us I said to my own children. So I just thank God for um, the imparting that was instilled in me from my mother. And as me being a mother, I, I think represent very well that I am a good mom. And my girls can holler at me and say, holla. <laughs> I think I am a great mom. So, um, and then praying that anyone that they're going to be great moms someday too, or they're sixty. One day. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's just say amen. Amen. Yeah, well, they were very good. At this time, we have a panel of guests coming to express the same thing. Okay, we'll start what it means to have a mom, because I had a mom before with a mom. So we'll start with that. What it means to have um, regarding. <laughs> <laughs> I think my mom was a great example for a mother. Yeah. Um, she, she always gave her last to us. Yeah. She always worked extra for us. She'll, she'll go that extra, I think moms always go that extra mom. Yes, yes. Those women do whatever it takes to make their child happy, put a, a smile on their child's face, even when, they, even when they're tired. You know, you know, love is, is an action word, it's a sacrifice. And I think growing up, mommy has sat, she has shown her love, she's not me really said it, but she has shown her love towards us, towards us, and we can all feel it. And I think it was mommy's love that helped produce the woman that we are today. Because if she didn't love us, I don't, I don't know where we would have been, honestly. So I think a mother is, a mother always is showing her action all the time. They're always showing that action towards us. Um, so I appreciate my mom for the sacrifices she ever made towards us. Um, so that's what it means to have a mother. Um, to be a mom, well, I'll say this. First, I couldn't be a mom without Mr. Kenny Amen. L. Gatton. Amen. He made it for me to be a mom. But without him, I'd just be Pam. Amen. The yes. man made it possible yes. some six something years ago. Amen. So, first, I couldn't be a mom without Kenny. So, yes. uh, thank you, Kenny. Um, <laughs> but it's wonderful being a mom. I couldn't imagine not having the children um, that I had. You know, sometimes it, it can be quite annoying. Um, and that's okay, that's why you have moms, so they can take them. So, um, sometimes it can be annoying, but I wouldn't trade them for nothing in the world. I couldn't imagine my life without children. Yes, praise God. I wish I could have more, but I'm not. But I wish I could have more, but we're not. But I just thank God for my children. They have been such a blessing to us. Sometimes I reminisce and I can't believe I know they only been here six, five, whatever, how long, but it seems like it seems like they've been here forever. Yes. I can't even describe yes. it. It seems like they've been here forever. And they're just such a blessing um, to us. Um, we're going to raise our children and the example that was given to us. Um, this little mama, she's eventually going to be a good mom. We're just going to follow the examples that were, that were shown to us. And we're going to pick up other examples, you know, in our lives. We have moms, we have spiritual moms. And I like to thank God for our spiritual mothers yes. for what they poured into our lives. Because um, you need a spiritual mother too as well as a natural mother. Um, so I think being a mom is awesome. But let me just, let me just say this. I don't think you can be a mom. Uh, I don't, let me say this for the parents, the children. I think it's important for parents to have both mom and father. Yes. Um, and I'll leave it at that because I can go on the whole spill about that. Yes. Um, and I won't because that's, at that point I'm going into a pain. But I just want to say I enjoy being a mother. And um, that's it. Church said amen. Amen. It was wonderful. So now the mother, the mother is going to come and tell us how it feels to be a mom. I feel old. I'm getting old. I'm getting young old. I'm getting very sensitive as I get older. I'm easy to cry. But I sit back and think about how the kids don't grow up. And, and now I'm being... 
now I'm being like a, a nana grandma now. Since they got their kids. Uh, mothers are very smart. Yes, yes. Very smart people. Yes. Very wise. I only know what my mother taught me, and some of the things she taught me was great, and some of the things I just didn't use to make any sense. So I asked God to help me where the things that she was lacking in it. I prayed for her, and I prayed for myself. Lord, help me get through this Amen. with these four girls. Yes. I wouldn't take, I wouldn't take nothing for my girls. So I feel like these little flowers. Amen. That's blooming. That's bringing some substance to this earth. Yes. So it's a good thing that we have kids. Some of these parents don't even carry you on your own. You had it, laid in the bed, had these children, that's it, that's on your own, your own. And I'm a mother of all nature because I have kids calling me, Mom, what do I do? Mom, you're a good support system. Mom, my mom don't even help me. So they'll call me for advice. I wish you were a little closer to me so you could help me with my kids. Mom, I can't believe you got up and went and help see, see about your kids, your grandkids. I said, yes, it's, a, it's an honor to be a nana and grandma. Amen. So Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm a mother rolled up in a nana and grandma and, right. and everything. So I just thank God for being here and for living another day, for blessing me. Amen. So I pray for y'all every day. Pray for the husbands every day. And we will be what God has called us to be. Good parents. Good parents. Every day, each day. I thank God that we got kids that can develop in something great for God. So keep me in prayer. Good church say, man. We thank you, thank you for those great uh, encouraging words and so I'm just about finished. Amen. Because yeah, if I had told them earlier that they would be doing this, mm -hmm. sometimes at the last minute it's better than before notice. So we thank you, mothers. And thank you for my gifts. I love them. Amen. <laughs> okay, so the time at the last minute is better than uh, being forewarned. So because they spoke right from their hearts. And we just thank God for that because being a mother it's not always an easy task. I remember one day, uh, <clears throat> this is years ago, I told my wife, I said, look, I said, take the car and the checkbook on the stair, and I said, just go shopping. And uh, she said, well, she said, uh, I gotta do the laundry. I said, I'll do the laundry. Well, come on, kid. I said, no, they ain't going. They stand with me. She didn't know what to think. She didn't know what to do. But she went on in the way, and I told her to come back. I said, I would never, ever trade a job with you. For being a mother, I tell you, it's something else. Especially when you got kids. Don't get me wrong. I, we, we love your kids. We love our grandkids. But, you know, we, it's, it's, being a mother, it's, it's, it's an everyday job. And I know that we they picked the, the second Sunday in May to observe Mother's Day, but mothers should be honored every day yes. for what they do. So I'm just going to uh, give a little history here about Mother's Day. <clears throat> There's a lady named Anna Jarvis. And in 1908, she had a memorial for her mother who passed away. So she began to campaign to have Mother Day as a national holiday. So in 1914, she was successful in getting that done. But then in the 1920s, she uh, was disappointed because Mother's Day had became so commercialized. And, you know, with, the, with, with candy and flowers and cards. And, and so they just commercialized it so much that she went and tried to get it taken off the national calendar. But it never happened. So today, a lot of people, you know, uh, children will give their mothers gifts, give them cards, give them candy, whatever, you know, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. 
But to me, uh, if my mother was living and I was able to go and see her, I would go, I would go there the night before. And I would get up that morning and make her breakfast, bring it to her in bed. Uh, and I would do the cooking all that day, and I would do the cleaning. And all she had to do is tell me what she wanted, what she wanted. To me, that's a good honor to give to your mother. The, the, the gift, the money, the car, all of that is good, don't get me wrong. And she's very thankful for what you have given her. Uh, amen, so that, you know, that's good. But I feel that if we just, we could just spend that day with her, not let her have to do nothing. Uh, amen. And, and, even though she ain't my mother, but I would love to send her to a spa. Just spend the day at the spa. Just get some nails done, feet done, whatever it needs to be done, in the heel or the toe, ankle, whatever needs to be done, just get it done. Uh, amen. Get a massage and all that good stuff. Now it's gonna be a, she's gonna get up, you have a masseuse, it's got to be a woman. Amen. Not that I don't trust her, but uh, it has to be a woman that's going to be a masseuse. Yes. Amen. So we thank God for our mother because without them, our life would be miserable. Uh, amen. Thank you, Kendall. Amen. For agreeing with me. For we, me and we cannot do what we moms do. Oh, there's so much that we can do. We can do our part as fathers. And, but there's something about a mother. The other Pam said she would give her a last. I think maybe a few said she give her a last. And you know, and, and sometimes mother they do without the soul the children can have. And, and, and I, I think about that, I think about uh, Jesus, how he came down through 42 generations. That heaven. Yes. Came down through 42 generations to save us from our sins. He wasn't our mother, but he was our savior. Yeah. Yeah. He, he wasn't looking at uh, what he had to go through. He was looking at what he was yeah. going to accomplish yeah. by going through what he went through. Yeah. So therefore, uh, he, 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 as he looked on it and he thought about it and, and he knew what had to come to pass, he said to his father, he said, let this cup pass from me. Yes. Because he realized that by dying, he would be separated from his father. So he said, if be thy will, let this cup pass from me. Yes. But then he said, not my will, yes. but thy will be done. So he went through that for us. And so today, we have mothers that will say, not my will, yes, but my child's will. Yes, we have mothers that would say, uh, I'm not going to uh, 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 buy this for myself because my daughter or my son may need that. Yes, That's a mother. And, and a mother loves us so much that they would do without so we can have. So that's why I said we thank God for our mothers. Yes, sir. I have a little poem here that I want to read, and I think this will be a blessing to our mothers and to children also. Yes. Entitled A Mother's Love. There are times when only a mother's love can understand our tears, can soothe our disappointments. Yes and calm all our fears. There are times when only a mother's love can share the joy we feel. When sometimes we dream, from, 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 when sometimes what we have dreamed become quite suddenly is real. There are times when only a mother's faith can help us along the life way and inspire us Inspired us the confidence we need from day to day. For a mother's heart and a mother's faith and a mother's steadfast love were fashioned by the angel yes. and sent from God above. A mother's love. We thank God and again say for our mothers on this your day. <laughs> 
May God continue to bless you with everything that's mine upon you. And mother, let this be, uh, and say, let this be your day. If you don't want to cook, you don't have to cook. If you don't want to clean, you don't have to clean. Just let it be your day to just do you. Uh, amen. Because next month, as Father, we're going we gonna, to we gonna do us. So I'm just give me a full one and we're going to do us. Not that we do a lot of cooking now, but on that day we ain't cooking. Not amen. But we thank God for our mothers and we praise God for our mothers and for the mothers that we have in this church. They are women of God and women of integrity. So we thank God for them because they give so much of themselves so that their children can have and become what God has ordained for them to be. It, it, it really means something when you have a godly mother or a godly father that was so into your life. Sometimes the things they say, we don't want to hear that. Uh, we, we don't want to hear it because we want to do our own thing. But I remember uh, Samantha, sometimes she'd be going through and she would call her mother. And uh, she would always tell her, all the way that not a him. And she said, Mom, you always say that. She had no way to tell you. In all your ways, that knowledge him, and he would direct your path. And now she is a graduate of Temple University. Uh, amen. Amen. And we thank God for the cause. The, 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 what she so into her, she didn't want to hear that at the time, but it helped her to become what she is today. So, children, when your parents are telling you things that you really don't want to hear, take it in anyway. Because trust me, down the road and around the corner, you will be like, hmm, now I see what she meant. Yeah. Uh, amen. There's a lot of time that um, I thought about the thing that my father told me. I said, oh, so that's what he meant. You, you, may, you, may not, you may not understand it at the time. You, you may not understand it until you get in your 40s and 50s. But he will come back to you. Yes. So thank God for our mother's thank God for Jesus. For had it not been him, none of us would be here. Yes. So we have to give him the praise, the glory, and the honor.